So I feed these five ingredients to Jericho every single day. It's more of a rotation each week, and his diet wasn't always like this. Jericho actually came to me eating wet food, those large soup can pâtés of wet food, but I've upgraded his diet since then. Over the next few months, you know, after he adjusted to his territory, AKA my apartment, <laughs> after he adjusted, I started upgrading his food to better and better quality. And even with homemade raw meaty bones with these ingredients, I've upgraded that since then. But he's been eating these five ingredients on a rotation every week for couple of years now and he's so much happier and I'm so much happier. We're all just so much happier because they're appropriate and actually good for cats. Hey friends, it's Jess and Jericho don't want to be filmed, but you will see him eating these ingredients throughout the video. So he will still be here. So the first ingredient, kind of a cheat sheet here, not really a, an ingredient, but it is part of his diet and that is whole prey. Why? Because cats are carnivores. This is what they were designed to eat. This is what they eat in their natural habitat. So I do feed whole prey to Jericho in his diet. So Jericho's had several whole prey in the past. I started out with mice and then I gradually worked my way up to quail. He's also had baby chicks. He's had baby gooselings, goslings, baby Ryan goslings. I don't know. And right now what I've stuck with is adult whole prey quail. Just because that's more cost effective, I say I spend more time cutting it up, but it is more cost effective to feed the adult. Now I used to buy from a breeding facility and that's typically what people say that is the most cost effective if you're buying from a breeding facility that mainly sells to reptile feeders. But I just, you know, I want to feed him more naturally and I just don't really think that a breeding facility is the best living and environment for my cat's food. And I also don't know what they feed the feeders because their website most of the time just says scientifically designed diet, which, you know. If you've been through my how to read cat food labels playlist, you know why I'm skeptical about that. <laughs> but so I've stuck with whole prey, adult quail, and I get that from Raw Feeding Miami. They also have green tripe, which is part of his diet, and other raw feeding supplies. So I like to buy from there. They, they source from local farms. So I just think that that's the best. And I like feeding whole prey because that includes everything. So all of the organs, the eyes, the brain, which typically aren't included in homemade diets, all of the glands, which aren't typically included in, in, in diets, feathers again. So, you know, you're getting the entire prey and that's what they would eat outside. So I just feel great about feeding that to him because I'm just trying to get as much as I can from his natural diet into his indoor diet. So some plans for the future that I might have, maybe I will start introducing more whole prey to his diet. It would be great to incorporate and just feed all whole prey. And, you know, it is kind of tricky though because we don't have the exact nutritional analysis from whole prey. And, you know, like I said, yes, it is their natural diet, but when they live outside, they also hunt out and seek out specific prey based on their nutritional needs and they don't get that ability indoors. So I just rather feel better safe than sorry and be able to formulate his diet with ingredients that I have access to in software and then also supplement that diet with some whole prey. That way I know the majority of his diet is balanced and complete, and then he's also getting whole prey, which would fill in any nutritional gaps. The next ingredient that Jericho eats every day is muscle meat, and this is the largest category when we're feeding a homemade raw meaty bones or homemade boneless diet is muscle meat because the prey is made up of mostly muscle meat. So think of this as the meat that we eat. So chicken thigh, turkey thigh, beef cuts, pork cuts. Well, I don't eat pork, but it's those are typical meats that people eat. And these are really, really rich in amino acids and essential fatty acids, some vitamins and minerals, but mainly we feed that just because that's the bulk of the whole prey. So currently Jericho eats some beef chuck, he eats some lamb tenderloin, and he also eats sardines or salmon. So sardines are part of his everyday feeding routine and then I make salmon for myself two or three times a week and 
can't make salmon and not give him some, right? <laughs> so he eats a little treat of salmon when I make it for myself. Jericho's had all different types of muscle meat in the past. I've tried duck, I've tried rabbit. Uh, let's see what else. I mean, he gets the quail. Technically, from the quail, he's getting that muscle meat there as well. And then I also feed some of Viva Raw, the elk and the bison, as some training treats. So he does get a variety of those muscle meats, but his main diet right now is beef and lamb. And then he also gets some muscle meat from the next section that we'll talk about, and that is raw meaty bones. So Jericho right now, he eats chicken wings and chicken neck. So technically there is some meat on the bones because we only feed raw meaty bones. So he is gonna get some muscle meat from those bones. So chicken and, well, both chicken, chicken wings and chicken neck. So he does have four different types of muscle meat, beef, lamb, chicken, and, oh no, five actually, if we include the fish, six technically. <laughs> But the fish is such a small amount, it's only about 6%, and that's perfect enough to fulfill vitamin D requirements. So that's how much I add. So beef, lamb, so two ruminant animals, and then birds, quail, and chicken, and then the fish, which is a small amount. But the raw meaty bones are great because this is the natural toothbrush that Yahuwah gave our cats along with whole prey. And I've found personally that with Jericho, chicken wings and chicken necks are the best. Small front rabbit legs are also good, and but I've tried other bones like rabbit spine and duck neck, and those were too large. So I feel more comfortable feeding chicken wings and chicken necks because they are small enough. Basically, if you can cut it with a poultry shear, then it's good. He's also getting some raw, raw meaty bones from the quail since it is whole prey, but I found that whole prey bones are way softer. Like I can just snap the leg off of a quail uh, easily, whereas the chicken wings I have to cut with a poultry shear, but with the right poultry shear it does just cut through like paper. But the cat's jaw is way stronger than we are, so they can handle eating those bones. And I've found that the chicken wings and chicken necks are small enough and appropriate for cats. The next category is muscular organs. This ingredient is super, super beneficial, especially when we're feeding heart. That's pretty much a mandatory ingredient in homemade food because the heart is going to be highest in taurine. And the smaller the animal, the higher the taurine is, I've found. So chicken heart has much more taurine than beef heart. And there are some different nutrient profiles, you know, depending on the animal, because their environment is different, their diet is different. So we're going to see different nutrient profiles depending on them. But duck heart, chicken heart, really, really great for, for taurine. And I also like chicken heart because of the zinc. Plus, they're the perfect size for cats to chomp and chew on, so I don't even have to cut it up. Makes it super easy for me to meal prep. Perfect biting size. So other muscle meats that Jericho eats are green tripe, which I mentioned before. So green tripe is the lining of ruminant animals, the stomach lining of ruminant animals. So beef, uh, lamb and sheep, goat, deer, stuff like that. So this includes, when it's raw green tripe, not the tripe that you see at the store that's been ble bleached and scalded, the green tripe that you get from raw pet food suppliers includes that pre-digested plant material. That's why it stinks so much. <laughs> but it's very high in probiotics and enzymes, good calcium to phosphorus ratio, and that is where we get our manganese from. So raw green tripe is really, really great to include in homemade diets, and that is part of Jericho's diet every single week. Now, of course, I'm not giving you all of these ingredients so you can just mix and match them together. It's really important to use a complete recipe. These are just basics that I give Jericho every week. But again, it's important to work with a nutritionist or use a complete recipe that provides a nutritional analysis. That way you know that what you're feeding your cat is complete. And if you need help with this, I do have a homemade cat food starter kit video course that includes complete recipes that I formulate using software and I do provide a nutritional analysis for those recipes. Right now, it isn't 100% complete, so if you buy now, you will get a 50% off discount. The link is in the description. Half of it is done, and there are six recipes in there so far. Three raw meaty bones and three raw boneless. And I do plan to add some cooked recipes as well. I wanted to include options for everyone because I know people like options. That makes it nice and easy that you have something to choose from. And there are meal prep videos. There's a step-by-step -step plan to get you started. And there's also 
trackers and planners so you can keep track of everything and stay organized so that you can do it right. Because, you know, homemade cat food is easy, but you have to have a proper plan in place. And that's exactly what I gave you in my homemade cat food starter kit. You can check the link in the description. You support my business. I can continue the work that I do. You get a great product. I wish this product existed when I started homemade. And then your cat also eats delicious food. So it's a win-win-win. The next category of ingredients that we'll talk about that Jericho eats every single week is secreting organs. These are our vitamin and mineral powerhouses. So Jericho eats three different secreting organs and I also eat them too. So he eats beef liver, beef kidney, and beef spleen. And the reason that I eat them too is because I'm also on the carnivore diet. But you know, people say that they're not necessary for us, for humans, but the reason that I like to eat them is because I only have one cat and secreting organs is the smallest percent of the diet that we feed. So, and especially since I'm feeding three, that, that makes it even smaller. So one pound of liver would probably last like nine months and I don't want it sitting in the freezer for nine months so that's why I eat it too and I make a really nice supplement with it with with butter and nutritional yeast and cod liver oil and salt and it just tastes delicious so I don't even taste the organs I just taste like the bitter buttery taste from the cod liver oil anyway back to cats <laughs> Jericho does eat those three, and I really like including those because liver is basically a staple. That's like a necessary one. That's the biggest secreting organ in the body, so that's why it's typically necessary and a mandatory ingredient. Plus, it's easily accessible. Kidneys are great as well because the more the better, the variety the better. With spleen, that one's really great because that is rich in iron. So I like to use these ingredients that provide natural sources of these vitamins and minerals that our cats need. So that's what my recipes include. That's what I include for Jericho's diet. And of course we do have to use supplements to fill in those nutritional gaps because we're not feeding whole prey and because our cat doesn't have the ability to seek out and hunt his own food because he's living indoors. So we do the best that we can. And Jericho does eat three different supplements. I won't go into, that, into this video because they're specific to his diet, but those are the main ingredients that he eats every single week on rotation. And if you wanna get your cat started on a homemade diet, you can check out my homemade cat food starter kit in the description below. It includes everything that you need. I will hand deliver everything to you. Again, I wish that this was available when I started, but it's a blessing that I can deliver it to you so that you can take a shortcut. Thank you so much for being here. Have a blessed day.